Hi, how are you? Welcome to Hanshi's World. Tonight we have a very interesting guest. We always have interesting guests on Hanshi's World, except for the ones who aren't interesting, but that's another story. And you know, I like to have a good time, and I like to get people on the show that can give you information about what's involved that you can use for your own good. I have with me here a gentleman who's been in quite a few kung fu movies. Uh, he's obviously uh, well known in his area, all right? He started studying Eagle Claw Kung Fu and Choi Li Foot at the age of 12, I think it was, in Hong Kong. And for those of you who don't know, Eagle Claw is primarily based on gripping and joint locks, uh, Choi Li Foot is a very aggressive self-defense system against multiple attackers, okay? Uh, Kenny Chin has some very, very interesting things to talk to us about. And basically, his philosophy is pretty much like most of the Grand Masters. You're not there to play. If you're gonna do it, you have to do it. Okay, but we'll let uh, Kenny Chin talk to you. Uh, I'm Hanshi Steve Kaufman, as you know. Uh, this is Hanshi's World, and we'd like to welcome, I like to say we, me, <laughs> me and the show would like to welcome Kenny Chin. How do you do? Thank you okay. very much. Thanks very Thank much you. for coming on Thank the show. You. Okay. Thank you for having me here. We met a while ago, uh, as a matter of fact, at the Atlantic City uh, Chinese Kung Fu Karate Convention. And uh, we chatted for a while, and I guess we kind of like got near each other. We yeah, started talking we to each other. We connected like and we understand. Yeah, there, you know? We share the same passion. Yeah, yeah. yeah and so. like the obvious, the passion for what we do is evident by the way we do it. Uh, let's just start by talking about your childhood, I guess. You were 12 years old when you began Eagle Claw. Right. What was that experience like? And from this, we're just going to develop where we go. Okay, okay. so we're going to have a good time. And as most of you know, I don't like cut this, cut that, take this in, put that in. You're, we're going to show like certain stills of you in certain scenarios that you were involved with. Tell us a little bit about Eagle Claw. Tell us about your experience with Eagle Claw. Uh, okay, like, uh, like most Chinese uh, young boys, uh, like myself, are always interested in learning some uh, Kung Fu, martial art. It, Kung Fu is a part of Chinese culture. Yes. Many years ago, every village would hire a, a master to teach the young man in the village uh, to, to defend the village. It's not uncommon that uh, uh, the village, uh, they, they invade each other. Okay. All right. Also protect themselves from, uh, from uh, the thieves or robbers. So all the young men in uh, China, you know, a long time ago, they always learned some martial art. So as I was growing up, I was interested in learning martial arts. As, as a matter of fact, my father was trained when he was a young man also. So uh -huh. all my life was always interested. Okay, well Kung Fu is essentially based on the, on various animals. Uh, okay. Right, right. Eagle Claw, I mean, it's obviously with the, with the talon and with the beak and things like that. Right. Were you primarily drawn to Eagle Claw because of the eagle, or is that just what was available? I mean, you, you've, you could have done the bear, you could have done the tiger, the dragon, right. or any of the other ones. Well, when I started at age of 12, I was too young to travel far. Actually, by, in, by accident, I just happened to, there's a school uh, in, my, in the walking distance. I, that always helps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I couldn't really go far, so it just happened. By chance, I, I went to this uh, martial arts school, and uh, the master there happened to teach uh, Charlie Fun an eagle claw. Okay. So that's how I got started. Uh, what was it like in the very beginning when you first walked into the uh, temple? Okay. <laughs> uh, that's what it is. Uh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not like a dojo, like oh, the way they have over here. The same thing with dojos in Japan. Right. They're completely different, except they're, they're very, there are some definite. Uh, classical representations of dojos here. I'm not putting that down, right, okay? Right. It's a different, yeah. What was it like for you when you first walked in? Uh, and did you have to get permission from your father and things like that? Well, uh, uh, yeah, my father was, uh, was in the United States at the time. So uh -huh. I grew up with my mom, but I, my father's always supported to my, uh, my love of, to, to train martial arts. He himself was a martial artist at uh -huh. a young age. So, uh, you know, he's very uh, supportive, you know, me going to martial art. And when I went to the school, I, 
I didn't have much idea about what it is. I said, oh, this is the closest school. I went in there and start training. And, Did you uh, think it was cool to do it? Or, or uh, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Or, or it's just, it a, just hey, check me, it out. Yeah, you know? I, I like to do that. Uh, Before it actually took a hold of your psyche. Uh, in old day, your master is like your father. Okay, yes. Okay? So you basically do whatever he tells you to do. You tell you stretch, you stretch, you kick, you punch, you do whatever you want to do. And eventually you pick up uh, te the techniques and he you know, explain to you the application of why you're doing this, why you're doing that. And uh, Eagle Claw, like, uh, well, like most uh, Chinese Kung Fu, we imitate uh, various uh, types of animals. Okay. We learn the strength from each animal. Like Eagle, the, the most powerful uh, part of the Eagle is the claw. Yeah. The other part is the beak. So we uh, try to imitate that kind of technique. Uh, uh -huh. The grabbing, the locking, the, the scratching, uh, the pressure point. Things yeah. like that. So we do a lot of uh, uh, exercise to strengthen our fingers, okay. such as fingertip push up and squeezing, and you know, by exercise strengthen the, 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 the strength on the finger. Okay. And we also study a lot of pressure points. There are over 350 pressure points in the human body. That's all. That you can hurt. Someone. <laughs> that, that you yeah. can hurt someone. That you can hurt somebody. With. Right. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Uh, so that was part of the training, uh, learning all that. Was Choi Li Foot a separate system, or did you incorporate Choi Li Foot into the Eagle Claw, or were they totally were they totally different? It's totally, totally different. different. Yeah, totally different. So you would go, you would have a, one lesson would be Eagle Claw, the next time yeah. you go with Choi Li Foot. Right, we alternate, uh, you know, the the, 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 the teaching. Uh -huh. Choi Li Foot is a totally different system. Uh, it's founded by uh, Master Chen Hung, like a couple hundred years ago. He he studied from three different masters. And eventually incorporate all three different systems into his own system called the Charlie Foot system. Okay. Yeah. By the way, uh, what you might want to do is go to Wikipedia. Yeah. Look up Eagle Claw. And, and Charlie I, Foot. I checked it out myself. <laughs> and it's extensive. And the same with Charlie Foot is also extensive. It would hold you in good stead to uh, learn about yeah, these yeah. things. Right. Because you can find out just by looking at pictures, if you're aware of what you're doing with the art that you're involved with, mm -hmm. you can take from other disciplines and incorporate them into what you're doing, which is what I do with like Heavy Roo. Absolutely, okay? absolutely. Heavy Roo has the, is the basic idea. We had spoken about this before. It's not like uh, where the master says throw a punch and you know the student comes over and throws a punch and the master <laughs> could do all kinds of tricks. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't tricks. work that way in real life. No, in real life. So like what we do in our school, okay, and some of the high-end guys, you're going to come at them to learn. They want you to learn the real way, so they insist that you fire full force. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about that, by teaching a student in his early developmental stage to fire full force in practice, is what is going to maintain that person, the student, as a, as a person in any other situation, in any aspect of their lives, also, business or whatever. Yeah, you know? that's what the, in the, the real world is like. You know, you go there, I mean, anything can happen. That's exactly right, which is why Musashi says, well, you know about my Book of Five Rings. I yes. Mean, I mean, the whole world knows about it. I had no, <laughs> I idea. I had no idea this was going to happen, but cool. Okay. Obviously, there's a lot yeah, of valuable information some, in there. Definitely, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, Musashi says, like, you know, you can only fight the way you practice. Yes. Uh, the influence that your teachers have on you, you may not even be aware of it yourself until later on exactly, in life, exactly. okay? Mm -hmm. When all of a sudden something just clicks in you and you behave in a certain manner in a given situation, not necessarily a life or death or physical confrontation. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is also, oh wow, yeah, okay, that's what he was talking about. Exactly, okay? until okay. you have the real situation and the, all, all the technique, all the knowledge has come together. That's you right. You just react to it, you, you don't even think. It's, well, this is like part of that thing, you know, right. to know it, to realize it, to be it. Right. You know? to, to, to be a natural, you have to, it takes a lot of uh, practice. Ah, one, yeah. of, one of the things, like one of my students, I don't even know who, who many of my students are because the book is just all over the world. Mm -hmm. They consider themselves to be my student. Yeah, exactly. I said, okay, great. And gee, I just said, hope I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> okay. And every once in a while, I hear from one of my students, and I heard from a student a while back, and he says, oh, the Book of Five Rings, it totally helped him. I mean, if it wasn't for the book, and he doesn't necessarily do karate. 
He does like weapons and sticks and things like that. And I say in the book, it doesn't matter what the discipline is that you're doing. If you apply the principles to whatever it is, including playing the piano that, or the that's saxophone. Exactly, exactly, you know? That's the most important. That's I the think whole thing. Yeah, your book is not just teaching about kicking and punching. You teach you how to live. Man. Yeah, your whole package of uh, mental, physical uh, training. Yeah. You know, the whole package. Well, you know, he told me um, that he wanted to give me something to thank me for that. Oh, I says okay. Well, you know, <laughs> that means the person really appreciates. And I'm, I'm saying to myself, wow, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. What could he possibly do? He says, I think you can be pleasantly surprised, Sensei. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. I mean, I get, I'm not hustling for goodies over here, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I get a lot of things sent to me. You know, right. shirts, a uh, book. Uh, a statue or something like that, usually manufactured yeah. items. I get a box, about a 38 inch tall box. Wow. And it's from this fellow, Quinton Dwayne Shelton in Des Moines, Iowa, hmm. who is constantly telling me, was we're on Facebook, that he cannot believe what he has gotten from my teachings. And I said, well, okay, cool. I open up the box, and in the box is a cane, not a cane, a walking stick, not a walking stick, a weapon. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And uh, he says he carved it out of white deer antler bone, wow. uh, or white deer antler. Yeah. I said, fine, you know, and I open up the box. I couldn't believe it. This is an astonishment. I'm, wow, look, look, look at this. Look at the craftsmanship. I'm it. telling you, with the five rings. You know, this uh, actually uh, it's amazing. Shows, I mean, look shows at this, man. I mean, yeah, it's, it's like incredible. It shows a lot of elements uh, in the in five everything. elements. Exactly. Yeah. There's, there's Musa I don't know if you can catch it, but there's Musashi sitting on a rock right. and we kid it around a little bit. I said, is that Musashi? He says, well, it could be you, Sensei, sitting <laughs> on a rock in Central Park, you know, with the swords. With just the the intricacy of this work, and I, I was absolutely blown away. I by think it looks that look at this yeah, uh, yeah. cane. It looks like he got a lot of inspiration from the book that he read. Yeah, and that's he why he didn't I, just carve it out. No, from, up no, the top no. of head. He gave a lot of thought to this. Yeah, and I'm saying a lot of inspiration wow, from your book. That is a phenomenal thing. I mean, this is a yeah, priceless uh, item. No, this is an heirloom. Yeah, you know, this is this is Quentin Dwayne Shelton from mm. Des Moines, Iowa. Check him out on Facebook. Very talented uh, man. And uh, it's unbelievable. Right, right. Okay, I just wanted to purposely bring that in. Right, right. Okay, because this dessert, I mean, I look at this thing, I say, oh my <laughs> God. He says, yeah, well, that's really nothing, Sensei, compared to what you did. I says, oh, okay. But I can yeah, see that. Okay, you can yeah, I says, I doubt that, man. But yeah. like, this is absolutely astonishing. I can tell you that uh, put a lot, the Sanskrit of, a lot of time, a lot of uh, thinking. Yeah. Yeah, uh, beautiful. A lot of inspiration from, wow. from what he learned from your book. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Okay, there's your, there, what is it? There's your plug, Q. You know, we're going to do a lot more for you anyway, but that's not the issue. How did you break into the movie business? Which I'm trying to get you to help me to get into the movie business too. It's I funny, uh, about a year before I left Hong Kong, I was, I was young, I was like 15 years old. Yeah. Like most kids, uh, you know, I was not able to concentrate in school because I was leaving, going to another country. Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, here. You come to oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody comes to the Yeah, world. so... Uh, We're I, flushing, I, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, America. America. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I go, I go Take the seven train. We'll so go have I'm, some dim sum. I'm leaving Hong yeah. Kong and <laughs> leaving the school in Hong Kong so yeah. I can concentrate. One day I saw it in the newspaper looking for actors. I said to myself, well, yeah. We'll have some fun. What do I got to lose? Right? A young man sees something like that, I go, go for it. I went to the office. Hey, I'm here acting, you know, do, do some acting. I thought they're going to make me do something or whatever, but basically it's, a, you know, it's agency. And they oh, took okay. a picture of me in the old days before computer, took a picture of me and my name, my size, everything. I said, whatever happened, happened. Uh, a week later, I got called. A week later? Yeah, yeah. And wow, well, okay. I, I, I guess I was... I, I wanna, uh, you're my hero. I want to <laughs> do that. You I know? did uh, probably 15, 20 movies uh, in, uh -huh. in six months. But I, I was uh, considered uh, 
average size. I was like five seven, yeah. you know, tall enough. You know, so I, I have a, I look like a regular person. You know, I don't. Yeah, but you did a lot of. You did a lot. Yeah, of, so I can uh, play many roles. So uh, okay, yeah. So in, in you did a lot of kung fu in the movies, obviously. Yeah, all kinds. I play all okay. kinds: cops, bad guy, good guy, all kinds. Mm -hmm. So I, just for the fun, kills time before I leave Hong Kong and come to the United States, start a new life. Yeah, that's how I got started. Okay, and it, and it followed you here. Uh, I never thought about doing it again. I went. I came here. I went to college, like most people. You know, finished college, got a job, working. I never thought about that. Who did you know? In, Some of the big, the big names. Yeah, well, Will Smith, uh, okay. uh, Tom Cruise. Uh, okay. Uh, you worked with Tom Cruise and Will Smith and all this. You yeah, work with like, any uh, of the uh, major uh, kung uh, fu uh, stars? Oh, uh, well, I've been doing a movie with uh, Vincent Lin. If you know her, he's uh, one of the stars. He fought uh, Jackie Chan in a lot of movies. Oh, okay. So I'll be doing uh, a movie with him soon in Philadelphia. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, most of the actors I work with, the American actors, uh, there's a movie coming out at the end of the year called Birdman. I'll be, I'm working with uh, uh, Emma Stone. So oh, that, that okay. Was, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Very good. Uh, I'll tell you what I want to do here. Okay, I'm going to back away a little bit. <laughs> I want you to talk to the people and tell them from your heart, well obviously it's all from the heart, what the martial world, the martial universe, the martial arts, have meant to you. And watch how I get out of the way. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, Doug, can you focus on Kenny? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, martial arts is always part of my life. Like I said, I started when I was 12 years old. And uh, mainly uh, well, for physical condition. And uh, in martial arts, you learn discipline, respect, honor, and, and uh, integrity, all that stuff. and. Uh, uh, the physical part of it is just a small part of it. So I apply all that uh, knowledge into my whole life, uh, whatever I do, uh, whatever job I do, I apply to that. I learn to respect people, honor people, and uh, work well with to, uh, to everybody. And uh, that, it's been helping me uh, in whatever I do in my, my life. Yeah. And as today, uh, actually, uh, this problem about bullying, happening all over the place and uh, I believe that if a, a young person trained in martial art at a young age the person would never bully anybody and would never get bullied so I really uh, believe that if more young people get into the martial art the training would take care of uh, at least 90 percent of the bullying problem and build up the, the young people's confidence self-esteem uh, I think we take care of a lot of uh, young people's issue today. Wow. That's that's a very, very good message. Yeah. You know, I yeah. mean I mean it's very straight ahead. Right. Okay. Right. I know so a lot of the bullies, the kids that are running around as bullies are yeah. the ones with low self esteem. Yeah, yeah. Because they have to prove something. Right. Okay. Yeah. And usually what happens when they run into somebody who knows what they're doing yeah, uh, they get hurt, right. you know, and then hey, I think I'll study martial arts or something right. like that. Also martial arts helped me um, be a better person because yes. uh, I don't walk around and act tough, act rough, and I, I don't I don't pick on fight and uh, make me. A, I bet you you can handle yourself. Of course, <laughs> but I, I don't I don't I don't even fight anybody who's not trained to fight. Okay, you, you, okay. You know what I mean, if somebody okay. pick on me, I just let walk it go. away. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, not, yeah, 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 exactly. I just believe that. Uh, uh, if a young person start martial art training at a young age, he also learn respect, respect, and self respect, self respect, and uh, high se uh, self esteem. Uh, all that you know. I mean, yeah, I yeah. some of the kids got bullied, and then they end up hurting themselves, kill themselves. That's right. That's right. Uh, that's right. That will not happen if a young person start at a young age training martial art. You have a lot of confidence in yourself, high self-esteem. Right. You would never let anybody uh, put you in a situation that you want to hurt yourself with that, with that, with that kind of thing. So. What projects are you presently working on? I don't know how much time we have left, but I want to like you know get as much in it. What do we got? Three minutes. Three minutes. Uh, okay, so 
Yeah. Hurry up, man. I, I, <laughs> I, I work on TV show Law and Order sometime. Um, uh, Blue Blood, the TV show Blue Blood sometimes. Ah. Uh, yeah, so, you know, as an actor, uh, most actors not... Uh, they don't work every day, but uh, yeah. that's the life of actor. Yeah. Most writers don't <laughs> eat every day, you know. It's a kind of, yeah. it's a but kind to of me, it's a very interesting, yeah. very exciting uh, job for me. Ah, I love this business and uh, meet a lot of interesting, exciting people. Before we close out tonight's show, okay, uh, Kenny Chin has agreed to show us the basic rudiments of Eagle Claw. I know some of the moves, okay, but obviously not the, to the deep aesthetic level. Sifu Chin, I'm going to argue with you Sifu because we're on the floor, right? You know, he's going to show us this. This is all for you. Now, if I'm going to be learning, I can only imagine, and you can only imagine, how valuable this is going to be for you, okay? Sifu, show me what I got to know here. Um, first of all, so I can go get some, you know. <laughs> But, uh, the eagle claw is the imitation of the claw of the eagle. So your finger has to develop a, a very strong uh, uh, power. So we do a lot of uh, fingertip push-up and a lot of uh, exercise uh, machine, uh, I mean device, you can strengthen your finger. Uh -huh. And then you learn, well, like, like all the martial system, take years to practice to perfect it. And there's, a lot, there's over 300 uh, pressure points in your body. So eagle claw mainly apply pressure to those uh, uh, pressure points to uh, to uh, disable the person. So let's say a person throw a, you throw a punch. We're gonna go slow. We're not yeah, gonna go slow. So just, just, just yeah, what, what, just a basic. Let's say the guy just attack you. Okay. Just switch out to my face, right? Like, like this, right? You can, you can just go right to his neck. All his pressure points, you know, squeeze or whatever. Yeah. And a lot, of, again, you apply a lot of pressure. Well, sh show them. Where, where the pressure it? point here, every three inches, there's pressure point. Yeah, you know, that hurts, point. by the way. I mean, but I'm, <laughs> I'm too macho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there are a lot of simple techniques. Well, there's locking technique, like the guy grab you. Let's say yeah. somebody grab you. There's locking technique. You reach out like this and you kind of. Right down. Right, right down. Right down. Show, right. Show, that, show us that one again. Can, can you get this? Right, okay. which are you go like this and okay. reach out to the floor? No, that we got, that right. we got. Okay. So that, that would be essentially like, you yeah. know, like blocking and just taking out of his throat. Right, right. But, but that one that you just showed with the locking. Uh, you talk about the one I just did, yeah. grabbing here? Yeah, and, I did. If somebody, right, somebody grabs your hand. Yeah, okay. you kind of reach out and grab, hold him back and with the finger lock in here and just kind of twist. And he's got to go. Yeah, he's you, gotta you, go. I don't know if you feel the pain again. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, see, and it's okay. Because that's the only way you're gonna learn. Yeah. Now, so like, if you would, if you would, grab my, grab my hand. Yeah. So I reach I, out. I reach yeah, like this. And hold his finger so he cannot, he cannot, he cannot come loose. Okay. So hold this and start turn to that way. Turn. Yeah. Turn this way. Yeah. Like oh, that. Cool. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then you do whatever like you want it. to. Keep and then that's, that. a common, <laughs> that's a common uh, technique, uh, a situation, uh, let's say in a, in a bar, in a restaurant, you get to fight, yeah. somebody go like this to you, right? Yeah. Hey, you want to fight like that? Let's say you do that, you the guy okay. say, hey, you want to fight? Come on, I don't want to fight, right? Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 bring him down, yeah. So uh, that's the basic uh, uh, eagle claw. There's a lot more to it. Obviously, yeah. 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 Uh, but my favorite is totally different system. Okay. Try the first system is more aggressive. Uh, it's, it's like street fighting. A lot okay. of time depends on the size of your opponent. Yes. You, you might not want to use eagle claw, you know, because the, the person is much too big. Yeah, yeah too big. Yeah, you yeah. cannot grab a hole in your arms. Try the foot. There are five principal uh, striking methods. It's called pow, pow, cup, kwa, sao, cha. It's like an uppercut. That's pow, yeah. and cups overhead. Yeah, it's like the uh, opposite of the pow, and then the qua. Back in. Yeah, back hand. Back fist. But I was strike. A lot of them are mainly a forty-five degree. Yeah, it's not your typical strict punch. Okay. So this is qua, and then the follow the sao, which is the knuckle. Yeah. The yeah. temple. Yeah. 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 And then the chop is like a th it's like a thrust, like a spear. It's here or to right. the throat. To the, to the rib and to the throat. Okay. okay. Good. Uh, also, the, the principal totally the, the striking method is like it's like a, a rock tied to a string, and you swing it like that. So we don't throw <coughs> punch like that. We relax this part of your arm. Boom. Yeah. Like kind of let's say 
if I throw a punch, right, if, if I go like this, you block somehow. Okay. Right? But this arm's relaxed. Yeah. I'll go right in. And just grab the arm. Yeah, it's like a string tied to rock. You cannot block the string. Okay. The rock still come in. So the uh -huh. way you have tap, I will go like this. Uh -huh. How uh, uh, you do something you do it to block. Boom. And this will Bad. come right to the, uh, yeah, yeah. the temple. Okay. And we follow through. Do it the opposite way so they can see this. I will go like this. Okay, I'm gonna let me come grab you. Oh, right, right, so right, this one right out. Right, yeah, right, right to the yeah. temple. Okay. And we always follow through. We don't strike and come back. Boom, now you right, going. Right. Like, when, once we start attacking, we don't stop. It's like a snake, you know. Yeah. There's no. Yeah, yeah. Just we'll, yes, keep on attacking. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, and our difference is a lot of uh, other martial art. The, the master will tell you, throw a punch, and then he try to do like a dozen techniques on the guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? In real life, you don't have to change to that new technique on the on that one guy. That's right. You know, he's not gonna stand there for you to do all that. So try to find a lot of times are more aggressive. We initiate the attack. We don't wait for you to hit me first. No, you do. It's what um, preemptive. That's, yeah. Yeah. I you you're you're intimidating me. You're trying to threaten me. I'm not waiting for you to fire. Right. I'm right. going right in and yeah. take it out. Yeah. You don't mind okay. look at each other like yeah. that. I'm not waiting for you to hit me first. I said, why are you? Boom. Yeah, right that's in. it. Right yes, I want to finish you fast. I want to go home. That's right. And, right. You, and you get out of there quick so you don't have to throw out right. papers when the cops That's the whole idea. So when we do this, right, let's say I, I miss or you block me, right? Mm -hmm. And then I continue to come up in a circle motion. And just continue. Right. Up. And then if I go like this, I follow up like this to cut to the throat. That's right. So the different, little different. So our techniques are five different uh, uh, basic techniques that we in a different combination. So our 24 system is a little more aggressive. Fantastic. Yeah. Did you folks get that? <laughs> okay. Now don't be trying this on your girlfriend. <laughs> because she probably can do it better than you. More pleasure. <laughs> but that's the basics of Eagle Claw. Fundamentals, essentially. And the 24 system. And Choi Wei Right, right. And this is Sifu Kenny Chin. And you've been very, very fortunate this evening to have Sifu Chin show you and demonstrate some of his art to you. Okay, so let's sit down again. Thanks very much for watching Hanchi's World.